She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Good morning Welcome to a brand new studio vlog. So much has happened in the past couple of days. I filmed yesterday and the day before, but I didn't introduce the vlog because I just, I was filming my reaction to my Patreon launching and I just switched the camera on and started um, chatting slash screaming at the camera. So today is Wednesday and I'm just saying hello. <laughs> so, not a massive introduction today, I'm going to get straight into the working week. It's been a really exciting few days. I'm going to cut to Tuesday when I finally launched my Patreon after the big fiasco that was my launch. I'll get into that in a little bit. Okay, let's go back in time. Hi guys, so it's Monday. I'm feeling a little bit rubbish because I've totally, totally mucked up this launch of Patreon. I don't know if Patreon have recently changed their kind of procedure, but as you'll know from the last uh, vlog, I wasn't able to launch on April 2nd because my page was under review and it was to, to make sure that the page met the um, community guidelines. I didn't know that Patreon would do this. In my mind, when you click publish, it means it's published, but it didn't. It just meant it went into review. I don't know why there wasn't a thing that said it, that would happen before. Maybe it did, maybe I totally missed it. Anyway, it's now Monday, the 5th of April, and I decided that if it wasn't reviewed by today, I would put it off until May 1st. And the reason I was gonna put it off is because if another week passed and it was still under review, people would join, pay for the full month, but only get the last two weeks, and that didn't really seem fair. So my plan was I'll wait and see what happens today. And then it was approved, and I was so happy, and I was so excited, and I was like, right, I'll say on Instagram, I'll let people know, I'll put on a countdown. So I did a countdown for 5 p.m., and I thought, right, I'll make sure everything looks great. For some reason, Patreon don't let you now post prior to launching. They only let you post one thing. So you can do your first post, but you can't then add scheduled posts and you can't add posts so that when someone joins, they get to see, you know, three, four, five things. They can only see one thing, which I didn't really like. And I had a bit of time, so I thought, do you know what, I'll add a little introduction video because I hadn't actually done that and I thought it'd be nice to say hello to, to new Patreons on a video. So I did that this morning, uploaded it, and it went into review again. So I'd already told everyone it was getting published and now it's under review again. And it could be another week, so... I'm just gutted. I'm annoyed at myself. If I'd have just clicked publish and then quickly uploaded the video, none of this would have happened and I would have launched. Ah. Anyway, I've given up refreshing the page, waiting to see if it's been reviewed. I think I'm just not gonna tell anyone. I'm just gonna do it and then say, by the way, I know I'm Patreon. <laughs> I was on such a high last week and I'm feeling a bit low about it right now. And I said I'd show you the ups and downs, and these are the downs. <laughs> but you can't have ups without downs, so I guess it's a good thing. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna nap, and eat food. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wasn't gonna film yet because... <laughs> because I look like a riot, but... <laughs> But I just had to turn the camera on because I I just launched my Patreon and <laughs> I can't keep up with the messages. I feel very overwhelmed right now in a good way. So with the fiasco of yesterday and trying to upload it, it got approved this morning and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it. I launched it secretly and 
about 10 minutes ago I announced it on Instagram. I wanted to make sure it was actually live before announcing it because I didn't want people to have to turn on a countdown and then it go into review again or something. Anyway, uh, sorry, I'm staring at my computer screen. Maybe you can't see that. All you can see is my crazy frizzy hair. <laughs> I'm getting messages on Instagram like tagging me to say people have joined before I've even been able to refresh my page. So I'm just refreshing it now and I've got 15 patrons. 15. My, my goal was 20, but like I meant 20 maybe in the next six months, not the first five minutes I'm getting 15. Um, my heart is absolutely pounding. I'm getting so many messages. <laughs> oh, after all the stress of yesterday, I can't get over it. I really hope everyone loves the content. So I really wanted when people joined there to be stuff to look at. So I've got discount codes, podcast, sneak peek, poll, art challenge, digital download, the Discord channel. People are already voting in the polls. <laughs> Okay, to you guys it looks like I'm just staring into the abyss, but I'm I'm staring at my screen. <laughs> I think I need to go for a lie down. I feel a bit overwhelmed. Okay, I'm gonna go chat to people. I'll speak to you later. Okay, so it's been about um, half an hour since I filmed. What was that when I filmed? 18, I think. I'm at 34 patrons. I just did a live on Instagram and when I was on the live I did a refresh on my um, Patreon page because I was at 18 and I thought I'll refresh it to see if there's anything any more and it had gone up to 27 and I cried on Instagram live so if you want to see me crying with happiness um, you can uh, check out my Instagram I posted it there and oh I need to go lie down because I'm feeling very overwhelmed. The Discord channel is going crazy. I'm so, so happy that people are chatting on, on it. I really need to catch up and talk to people. I can't believe people are chatting on my Discord. That's just amazing. And everyone's introducing themselves and sharing their social media accounts and, oh, crazy. It's been on for, I don't even know what time I launched. Well, I, I did the Instagram post less than two hours ago. It's now five o'clock. I think I did it about half three. And we're on 34 patrons. Okay. There's so much more I want content I want, to, I want to get uploaded. So I'm gonna schedule that for this week. Right, I'll see you tomorrow and Speechless. <sighs> okay, so we're back into the future now. Well, the present, my present, uh, whatever. So Patreon has been on for two days. It's now Wednesday. I'm gonna take my coat off, hang on. I'm working a bit of a sweat with that uh, little dance routine for the introduction. Okay. <laughs> So I don't know what I was at yesterday when I filmed. Uh, my hair is still frizzy. I just need to wash it to defrizz it, but I haven't, so sorry. Uh, <laughs> right now I'm at 47 patrons. My goal, I can't remember what I said my goal was for the end of the year, the end of 2021. I'm gonna look at the goals video and see what I said. I think it was 50. I'm gonna check and insert clip here. And Patreon, if I start in November, I will be blown away. This is a really big number, I'm gonna say, I think, for giving myself, if I start in November, that only gives me like two months. So I don't know if it's possible, but I'm gonna say 20. Okay, so if I start in March, if I could get to 40 patrons by the end of the year, that would be insane. Okay, so I'm smashing my goal for the year, 
in the space of a day. I mean, right, I'm gonna stop talking about it because I, every time I think about it, which is all the time, I get really overwhelmed and I have so much to do. So I need to get into the actual working week and it's Wednesday already. I've got a couple of orders to package. I've got a little unboxing to do and then I'm gonna get cracking on my to-do list, which is getting longer and longer. Okay, see you in a little bit. My plant is dying. I cannot tell you how bad I am with plants. I killed a cactus from lack of water, so this one didn't really stand much chance. <laughs> I mean, oops. Maybe I can bring it back to life. I know what the problem is, it's literally lack of water. I'm really sorry, plant. Okay, I'm off to water him. So I could pretend that I was letting these Valentine's Day roses dry out, but actually they just ran out of water, died, and I never did anything about them. But actually, <laughs> they look so cute. There's like thistles and like little white flowers. And I think these dry roses, as long as I'm careful with them, I think they'll be make really, really good photo props. So I'm gonna snip the ends off and keep them and pretend that that was the intention all along. kindly gifted some thank you cards and stickers from No Issue and I've waited ages for these but they couldn't have come at a better time because I've run out and I was just about to order some more so I'm really really happy that I checked the mail so let's take a look oh hang on reuse me oh maybe I should have cut this whoops So the bag is compostable and it's got another strip here so you can reuse it and yeah, so don't do what I did and don't rip it. <laughs> Ooh, I like this packaging. 100% recycled padded mailer. Oh, I'm definitely going to use this again. So again, this is a bit easier to see. It says reuse me. So here are the recycled cards. And they gave me some stickers as well. Ooh. Okay, so this is no issue. If you haven't heard of them, their aim is to provide eco-friendly packaging. And if you've been watching my vlogs, you'll know that that's one really big goal of mine in this small business. This is where you can find them. And I decided to go for larger stickers. So these are the ones I've got. And I actually think the colors are, these are from printed.com. And I do love printed.com, I think the quality is lovely and it did arrive really, really fast. But I think the colours are more accurate on these ones. It's more a mustard yellow, whereas this is more orangey. Um, let me take it out so I can show you. Yeah, these colours are perfect. They are much more accurate to the colours that I actually chose on the file. And I love the size. You get, I think I've got 250 here. Let me zoom in a bit. The quality of these are really nice. And as I say, the colours are literally perfect. I'm so happy with the mustard yellow. Yay. Okay, here goes for the thank you cards. These are um, made from recycled cardstock. So I'm loving the packaging. A 
Okay, again, the mustard yellow is so much more accurate than the other postcards I got. And it's got a little Alliance logo, which shows that it's um, recycled and eco-friendly. And it actually, the color actually goes with my font, which is quite nice. And I'm gonna round these corners myself. But yeah, I, I don't actually know if rounded corners is an option with no issue. I'm not sure, you'd have to have a look on the website, but I've always just rounded them myself. It's got a really nice shine to it as well. I'm really, really happy. I still love this illustration. I really wanna update the illustration soon, but I'm gonna work my way through these cards first. I think there's about 50 here and then I'll be able to get a new design. And I will definitely be ordering from No Issue in the future because I'm really happy with the quality and I love that they're eco-friendly. That's a really, really big plus side. So thank you No Issue, I'm so happy with my postcards and my mustard yellow stickers. Okay, so just packaging an order, and one thing I thought I'd mention, this sticker, it actually sticks to my wrapping paper. The other stickers that I got, these smaller ones, they just sort of pop off and don't actually stick down. And this seems to be holding on pretty well, so yeah, I'm really chuffed. So I've no idea really what I filmed. Um, <laughs> I'm still feeling pretty overwhelmed. Um, it's the patrons now at 49 patrons and as I said before my goal was 50 for the year. It's about 7pm already and I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> Baby is getting really hungry so I'm gonna head home and then I'm gonna edit a video that I need to post on my new Patreon. So my to-do list is getting pretty long but I was expecting that and I hope that I can keep up with everything and yeah, I just, I just still need to process everything that's happened the past couple of days. So, my arm aches because this camera is quite heavy. Okay, I shall see you tomorrow. Hi guys, happy Friday. So I feel like this has been a really unusual vlog, a bit of a strange one because all I've done, I think, is talk to the camera. And if you're new to this channel and this is the first video you're watching, just so you know, normally I film a variety of stuff in my shop. I like to do behind the scenes things, stocking up, packing orders, just designing products, just everything to do with the business. And this week has been a special one because it was my Patreon launch. And it's basically just a video of my reaction because it has taken up my whole entire week and my thoughts and everything. And currently at the end of this week, after two days of launching, I'm on 54 patrons. I have smashed my goal for the year and we're only a few days in. Oh, I can't, I still can't process it. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. And I just wanna say thank you so, so much to all my new patrons. I absolutely am loving the Discord channel which you can access from uh, the lowest tier which is $2 and up. And everyone's chatting away and it's just so, so nice to see. I feel like already we're building a community which is the main thing I wanted to do on this Patreon. So I'm really, really, really happy. And on Patreon, you can set goals. My goal was 20 patrons. And if I reached that goal, I was gonna invest in a new microphone, a microphone that I've wanted for ages, but I just couldn't justify it. I have bought it because I reached that goal, which will be great for my podcasts. And I'm hoping that arrives in the next couple of days. So I'm gonna do an unboxing and share it with my patrons. I'm normally gonna be sharing videos with my RT Migos and my postcard pals, and then time lapses with my sassy sidekicks. But this video I'm gonna share with all my patrons because they have made it happen and they've allowed me to invest in my business without feeling guilty about buying something that is gonna raise the quality of this business. So, okay, enough rambling. I think I'm gonna end the studio vlog here. And don't forget you can check out my new Patreon in the link below. Okay, just as I was saying goodbye, my camera went really, really weird. It started flashing on and off. Let's ignore that. Let's hope I don't have to invest in a new camera because I love this camera. Yeah, that's it from me this week. Okay, I shall see you next time for another studio vlog. Okay, bye.